What's up everyone, it is Dark Viper and I am here to show you the most powerful design I've ever made for an onion farm. And it's one of the most basics. It doesn't require any of this stuff. It doesn't require totems. It doesn't require conveyors. It doesn't require washers. It doesn't require any of this stuff. And it's going back to the basics. It's going straight up back to the basics and it's more powerful than anything I could build. And on top of that, you never hit despawn limits. So I'm gonna tell you how productive it is. It makes about anywhere between 10 to 11 onions per second. Again, it requires no conveyors, no totems, nothing. My old design that I used to have, if you remember my old, my first onion design without these washers, it would go, it went super, super high. The most I ever made off that was about 160,000 onions in eight hours, right? That's that's about 20,000 onions per hour. My new design here does about 38,000 onions per hour with no washing. It's, it's pretty incredible. The cost to make it was about 14 million. You can make yours probably for a little bit less. I think I spent, you know, maybe a couple million too much on this, maybe 4 million too much on it. So you could, you know, roughly around like 10 million mark you could probably make this um the blocks the actual seed count the actual onion seeds that you need to have i think there it's about like three thousand tops if you're going to sprint it and on top of that you got you, you make a ton of onion seeds because you're not doing it through an auto so i'm going to show you what the design looks like right now so i'm going over to the field now if you did watch my my auto berry farm then you could actually use this uh as your onion farm as well based on the system you can actually convert all these to grass blocks and then just plow it and plant your seeds inside here this will work just as well so if you don't you're like dark i just made a huge berry seed farm you know i don't want to have to do this then just use your berry farm for your seeds for your onions you can just kind of decide if you want to do onions or berries for the day and then in fact that's probably what i'm going to do pretty soon so that i can optimize my farm because my farm is just huge it's too my island i, I can't even load into public servers that well because i hit I've, I've hit the block limit so many times that i don't really want to have two farms i can use uh the same paths which is cool, kind of cool because i don't have to like reinvest in a bunch of time into building more strips because it takes forever to do this right so if you already have one of these style farms and it loops pretty well for you then just do this and just plow it and you're in good shape so that you don't have to build another highway so one thing i could tell you is that if you can't afford that many onions before i go into the auto how to auto that if you're like dark there's no way i can afford that much that's like you know 14 million i don't have enough money to build that out what you could do is you can start out with something like this um what you do is this is where my my spawn is and you've probably seen this on jesse games and a couple other youtubers i've seen like three or four different youtubers uh post the same video and i've had some people in the community bring this up to me you know is is your your ability to respawn and just kind of you know harvest the same strip over and over and you just basically drop off into the void and then you start over right here so how that works is if you're coming through here and i'm not i'm not actually replanting right now because i don't need to but just to show this example so you just drop off like that and you just keep farming over and over over overnight this way that's only if you have 330 uh, onions or less so the edge of the map is actually 330 blocks from the spawn so you can see the the length of my berry farm is just about 667 um you know in length so that is from the end edge to edge here so you can kind of see where the edge of the map looks like and in this case if you're going to do this you, you're limited to the edge of the map which is about another 333 blocks so you can do 333 blocks of onions before you're going to have to start doing something that's like maybe a row based system or you could have it loop back and you could just keep stacking this over and over and just kind of loop it this way i think this looks ugly i think it's okay for you if you're temporarily doing this and you don't care about what your your island looks like like my island's a mess because i keep running experiments but you can see what i mean though is you don't really want i mean who wants this big thing on top of their their island you know now you could do it really Really, really high up so you can just stack this you can stack these blocks and make it really really high so that you spawn up there and if you look up you can see the giant strip and that's fine too if you want to do that it's up to you it's your island um, i just have my own preferences and if i can afford to do my own strip system and just you know do auto movement i will so i'm going to come down here and i'm going to show you how i run these autos now i did make the most basic version of this um, because i didn't want to confuse you when we're just trying to explain this inside a tutorial you can actually make this multi-level if you wanted to pads you could do stairs to, to shorten your levels so we can actually stack this this to multi-level and you're just traveling up and down stairs you can do that kind of stuff you can make this into glass you can make it into iron blocks it doesn't matter do whatever you want um, this is just for tutorial purposes the way the one thing i do want to make sure that if you're designing a path system like this make sure you do an even path number so you're gonna you're gonna count these and you're gonna see that these are even numbered this is one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve so twelve is our exit and that's when you loop back right so that way you can completely loop it now if i did an odd number my end for this would be at the end of this and i would have to back 
backtrack all the way to the, the start. So that's why we do an even number of rows. So you don't mess up and don't, you know, cause I've, I've messed up so many times planning this incorrectly where I do like odd numbers and I'm like, I can't loop that now. <laughs> it cost me a lot. Trust me, it cost me a lot of time. So saving you a little bit of headaches there. Um, the other thing you're gonna want is if you wanna be able to loop this, you're gonna wanna use a tool called uh, uh, Macro Creator by Pullover. You can use your own stuff. I only, I, I only use these tools because I'm familiar with them and I prefer them, but I'm gonna show you what Macro Creator looks like real quick. So Pullover Script, I'm actually gonna do one thing to optimize this a little bit further is I'm gonna remove the, the delay here so that I can go a little faster. Okay, so you can see I have a left shift that keeps me sprinting. I've got an F key that spams and then I've got a left click that spams so that replants the seed. So what this does is keep me in, in sprint. This keeps collecting the onions and this keeps replanting the onions and then we loop it over and over and over. That's all that means. So if you're gonna rebuild this by scratch, what I would do is go ahead and, and insert keystroke. You're gonna hold, you're gonna click uh, left shift and you're gonna put a slight delay in there. We want about 10 millisecond delay so we don't fry your computer. And then we're going to go ahead and uh, insert a keystroke of an F, which is a normal F. And then we're gonna go ahead and click the mouse icon here and we're gonna do a left click. It's gonna be a normal left click and you can leave the defaults here. It's 10 millisecond delay. And what that does is we got the, the sprint mod, so we're sprinting, we're clicking F and then we're uh, left clicking. And on the, on the left shift, I would actually do, um, I would actually change that real quick to be a left shift down. Let's go back to left shift and I would make that a down. So that's hold, it's held down during that time. Okay, so now this is just gonna run once. It's not gonna keep going unless we put a loop in there. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna select these. You can either hold down shift and select them all or you can do that or you could do control A, however you wanna select these. Just make sure they're blue. And then we're gonna go into commands and hit loop and just click okay. And now it's gonna loop endlessly. So we're gonna hit play on this. And I'm gonna show you how this works. So see how it's already there, but you're not seeing any seeds being replanted because look what I have. I have nothing selected. So now that I selected the onions, it's actually replanting them. So I'll just show you right here. See, I'm not even clicking. I'm not doing anything right now. It's just automatically replanting for me. So if I were to get on the, the actual path here, um, in fact, I'll zoom in so you can see what's going on. You can see it's, it's replanting them, right? It's actually pretty cool. And if I were to sprint now, now you can see the onions take off. And so that's the most basic system. Now, what if I wanted to automate this? Well, here's the here's the thing. I couldn't figure out how to use one tool to be able to do it. I'd love if anyone in comments figures out how to do that with one tool successfully. I'd love to see it. But um, what I do is I actually combine pullover script with uh, tiny tasks. So tiny tasks handles all my movement except for the shift, except for the sprint, because tiny task cannot handle shift for some reason. I have no idea why. But you would just basically use tiny task to record your actual movement. And that's what I did overnight. So you'll see my time lapse of me auto farming this um, for about four hours. And I was able to get about 160 something thousand onions in four hours. So it's pretty powerful. And I was able to get it. Um, I think I got about like over 3000 seeds from it. So a ton of money, ton of money. And I think I, I think I made about 5 million from cashing all the onions. So about 5 million coin in four hours, which is pretty, that's really good. And that's not counting the cells of my onion seeds that I'm going to get. I'm going to probably get another 3 million from that. So about 7 million in four hours. It's not as powerful as the berry farm still, but it's pretty, it's pretty good if you prefer onions. And if this is, this is actually a really really easy build to do so i'm going to go and show you now my auto movement so with tiny task so with tiny task where we would record our uh, movement so we're going to go and hold down shift with tiny task because we do want the timing to be correct as if we're sprinting and then you basically record your tiny task macro and you're going to loop this uh completely and then you're going to i always like to square up whenever i get to corners so that way things are kind of positioned correctly. So we would go through here. You just need to make sure your mouse in the, is in the correct spot. I generally, from my angle when I'm recording, I do my mouse like right about the, his forehead so that while I'm sprinting, it's it's picking up all the onions no matter which side of the, the path I'm on. See, if I go left side or right side, I'm still hitting onions. And so that's, that's where I put it. And it works really well because especially when you get up to here where it gets a little blocked, I'll show you at the very top here or even at the bottoms. Okay, so up here, you'll notice when we're coming around the corner I can still hit these that's why I put it where it's at but that's how you do that so and then you're gonna you're basically gonna play your movement while you play the pullover um, auto clicking um, and auto key presser and that works really really well now I'm gonna again I'm gonna show you how I do this pathing I've got another little thing over here that shows you how to build something very basic
basic like this. So what you're gonna wanna do is you have your start corner right here, right? So we're gonna go and create a boundary here. It's already kind of started for us here because I was experimenting. So right here would be your start. You saw that in mind. And then you're gonna loop this and then you can just put a border here. And this is not the actual size, this is just an example. So you notice that I've got an even number of paths. So I got one, two, three, four, that's four rows of a path and I can expand this as many times as I want. Um, I would prefer you go as wide as you can first because you're gonna get a lot more speed off the wide corners instead of, you don't wanna do as many corners if you can help it because these are slow down points because you have to square up and then you're gonna go this way, square up, that way, square up and your cost, it's costing you about a hundred onions plus each time you each time you loop. So you're gonna start here and then again, it's pretty straightforward, right? So that is your build. You have no onion totems, you have nothing else needed, no conveyors, no washers, nothing needed because they're all clean because they never touch conveyors. So you never have to do anything with those again. So I'm gonna go and run the time lapse for you. You can check that out. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, hit that like button and smash the subscribe button if you're new and keep an eye out for some future fruit tree auto builds where I'm gonna give you a way that you can auto farm fruit trees. The only uh, thing I wanna tell you about that is it's not gonna make you a ton of money. So if you're Hoping you're going to make a ton of money off of fruit trees. You think again, this is really for bakers. People that like to bake apple pies or anything like that. Those are the people that are going to want this video. But if you're looking for the most money you can make in Skyblocks right now, you're going to want to do this. This is the money maker is the cash cow until it gets nerfed. So, so thanks again for watching and I'll see you next time. Peace.